And now we would like to call up a member from the Chappelle family to receive this citation. Citation. It's my honor to read the citation, the Walter F. Anderson Award being presented to Bill Chappelle today. Whereas Bill Chappelle came to Yellow Springs in 1967 and worked in the cooperative education and dean of student departments starting in 1973 and taught as an adjunct instructor of SIMI. And whereas he helped organize human, helped make us a nation back in the 1970s. With this Close friend, with his close friend and social activist Jim Dunn to advocate community empowerment and social activism. And whereas he graduated in 1980 from Antioch College with a degree in music, with a lovely baritone bass voice, and taught voice lessons privately, thus giving generously to the Yellow Springs music community, professing his love for opera and teaching youth music through his youth showcases. And whereas he founded, served, and worked with the Yellow Springs Human Relations Commission, bringing community members to work on the issues of youth leadership, with educational forms and outreach for neighborhood support and community initiatives. Whereas he helped found the African American Cross Culture Works, which offers its blues festivals as an annual event to this day. Bill wasn't much for awards, he wasn't much for titles, but this one would stand out as a highlight of his life because it came from his beloved Antioch and it came from his beloved students. Thank you so much. I just wanted to add a couple of things that I think were important. One is that after uh, William moved to the Yellow Springs in 19, we first moved here in 1967, uh, he began to fulfill the dreams of his life uh, and the things that he most wanted to do, he did through Antioch. Uh, those things were uh, to work with people in, in a setting that was uh, full of diversity and to foster uh, a connection that all, so that all humans could be human together. Um, the other thing that was a passion of his life was his love of music. And I remember very well that when he first met me, he had me going to uh, sing at choir rehearsal. Because, uh, and I, I think that was a test. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, but eventually, uh, we, he went to, he decided to get music lessons. And he asked me to join him in music lessons. And when the teacher told him that I was good, heard the audition, he said, you sing better than I do, and I would give anything to be able to sing and sing well. I'd give my right arm. And he never had to give his right arm, but something that hasn't been mentioned here, at one point in his life, he lost the functioning of his kidneys. And I think it was at that point that he really began to take his singing in a very serious way and to do his best work as a singer and as a vocal instructor. I just want to encourage all of you here, if you have a dream, do it soon rather than later, and don't let anything stop you from falling through on that dream. Don't wait until you have to function with the handicap of having uh, to do it with a, uh, to function with a handicap, I should say. Do it while you can, because a talent is something that God has given to you, and a talent is something that you should take advantage of by your having. Uh, William loved to sing, and it's appropriate that he be given the Walter F. Anderson Award.